Baptism, Part 2. What Baptism is Really All About. Dear Friend, Today I am going to share what baptism is really all about. First, there is no such thing as holy water. There is no magic in the water that a person is baptized in. It is just water. However, baptism doth also now save us, according to 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 21. So something happens at baptism that is very special, meaningful and significant. Sometimes in scripture there are several parallels. Let's use sanctification for example. How are we are sanctified? By Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, once, forever. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10. By the name of Jesus, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 11. By the Holy Ghost, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 11. By faith in Jesus Christ, Acts chapter 26 verse 18. All the above. Foolish people will argue and debate that we are only sanctified by one of these, however, there is no competition for first place here. The answer to this multiple choice question is E. All the above. Now let's apply another parallel in scripture to today's topic. By what means are we forgiven of sins? By grace, God's mercy. Through faith, in God's promises, and in Jesus Christ. By Jesus' blood alone. Through baptism. All the above. Again, foolish people will argue and debate that we are only forgiven by one or two of these answers, however, again, there is no competition for first place here. The answer to this multiple choice question is E all the above. I have seen Baptist ministers debate Church of Christ ministers, taking the position that baptism is not necessary for salvation, on the grounds that baptism is a work, and we are not saved by works. Noah found grace in the sight of God, which means he was saved by grace. He was instructed to build the ark. These same Baptist ministers would have argued that Noah should not build the ark, arguing that building the ark is salvation by works. These false teachers would have drowned when it started raining. Focus your attention on the section below that is underlined. 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 18 to 22 For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. The like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven, and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. We are forgiven by all of these means simultaneously, by grace, God's mercy, through faith, one, in God's promises and, two, through faith in Jesus Christ, through faith in Jesus' blood alone, and through baptism. How is that possible? Baptism unites believers with Jesus' death on the cross, Romans chapter 6 verses 3 to 5. During the first Passover, the Hebrews were instructed to dip hyssop into a basin of a one-year-old lamb's blood and apply it to the doorposts of their houses. God promised that when he saw the blood applied to the doorposts, his destroying angel would pass over that house and spare the firstborn child inside. Baptism is how believers apply the blood of Jesus to the doorposts of their hearts, ensuring they will be passed over by God's wrath on Judgment Day, when the wicked are judged and cast alive into the lake of fire. To be saved we must be born again of both water and the Holy Spirit. Both events happen at baptism. John chapter 3 verse 5 Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. 
Baptism is for the remission of sins. Let's talk about remission, it literally means to cancel a person's guilt. Which means they were in fact guilty and deserving of punishment. God had them, dead to rights, and would have been perfectly just punishing them, but God cancelled their guilt. God passes over their guilt entirely based on the death of Jesus on the cross. Jesus' blood is applied at baptism. Which is why Jesus said, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Remission of sins is through faith in Jesus, Acts chapter 10 verse 43. Through the blood of Jesus, Romans chapter 3 verse 25. Occurs at baptism, Acts chapter 2 verse 38. In the name of Jesus, Luke chapter 24 verse 47. All the above. You are right. The answer is, E, all the above. Baptism is the single most important moment in a Christian's life. All of the following occur at the moment a person 1. Believes, 2. Repents, and 3. Gets baptized. Forgiven of past sins. God's promise, not to impute, future, sins, is applied. The believer receives the Holy Ghost, given oil into his lamp. The Holy Ghost seals the believer unto the day of redemption. The believer is at once adopted and declared to be a child of God. The believer at once passes from death unto life. The believer is promised eternal life. The believer is added to the church. The believer puts on Christ, puts on the robe of Christ's righteousness. The believer has been justified by Jesus' death on the cross. The believer has been sanctified by Jesus' death on the cross. The believer has been perfected by Jesus' death on the cross. The believer has been washed by Jesus' death on the cross. The believer's sins have been purged by Jesus' death on the cross. The believer has been reconciled to God by Jesus' death on the cross. The believer has peace with God by Jesus' death on the cross. It's an impressive list, but the gifts of God keep growing from there, and all occur the moment a repentant believer gets baptized. Tomorrow we will discuss several of the common misconceptions about baptism that we raised in yesterday's letter and answer the dilemmas that the early church fathers really stupid questions raised. Hint. If you think hard about it, today's letter has already answered them. Sincerely. David Michael Curtis